This video is on metallic bonding. Today we'll be discussing the key structural features and also the properties of metals and metallic bonding. Metals tend to form cations, positively charged ions. This is because they find it easier to lose electrons than to gain electrons. When metals bond together, they form a regular lattice. Here in the diagram, you will see that the positively charged ions are in a neat lattice, in rows and in columns. And then we have free electrons floating around. This is described in chemistry as a sea of delocalized electrons. And they largely explain many of the properties of metals. The first property of metals that we'll discuss today is the high melting and boiling points. Like ionic compounds, this is due to the strong electrostatic forces between negatively charged and positively charged particles. The next property is that metals are good conductors of electricity and of heat. Metals can conduct electricity well because the free electrons in the sea of delocalized electrons are free to move around and conduct the electricity. Metals are also hard. Again, this is due to strong intermolecular bonding. Metals are also malleable and ductile. Malleable means that they can be bent and molded into new shapes. Ductile means that they can be drawn into a wire. Why metals can do this is due to the sea of delocalized electrons. When the metal is bent, the electrons will move around to keep like charges apart and to hold the metal together tightly. Finally, metals are lustrous, meaning that they're shiny. This is because the free electrons reflect the light making them appear shiny. Thanks for watching this video.